Oh, what a lush day. One of my favorite words, lush. Sounds like it feels. We're out in um, Glenmasson today. We came down to see the bluebells, but there aren't any bluebells. I don't know if we're too early or too late, but we'll maybe try in a few days again and see if they've come up. However, whilst we're down, I had an idea. One thing I do loads, which I'm super guilty of, is walking around in a beautiful place and looking at my damn phone all the time. So we're gonna do a little Instagram shoot and get a few photos of me looking at my phone and um, being surrounded by this. Uh, and what I figured we'd do when we get back is do a little tutorial on how to edit green. Like green is a thing that we're surrounded by up here in Scotland. And one of my favorite looks on photos is um, a very desaturated green look where, where you pull the green out, but your brain still tells you it's there. It, it looks awesome, trust me. So let's get some shots done and then let's get back and do some editing. Yes, guys, welcome back to the office. That was a great little morning getting out and taking some photos. Before we start, make sure you jump on Instagram and fo follow Nero and me there. It is literally Nero and me. That's where we post all of our photos up. Today, now that we're back in the office, we're gonna go through one of those shots that we got this morning, and we're gonna be focusing on trying to get a nice, desaturated, moody look to our forest photo. So, without further ado, let's jump in. Boom, here we are on the first screen. So this is the shot that we have chosen. I am posing a little too hard, but never mind, I can deal with that. Um, with any photo, the first thing you ever want to do on Lightroom is jump straight into your basic editing tools, exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites and blacks. Now, we've shot this with an 85 mm lens and I've managed to expose this almost exactly as I want it. It's a perfectly exposed photo overall. However, because of the look that we're going for, what we're actually going to look to do is drop our exposure a little bit. So we're just gonna bring that down, not a lot, just a little bit. After we've done that, we're gonna pop our highlights. Just a little bit. Can we see, if I do a bit more of an extreme, you can see what the cut height highlight, the whites do. The whites really control the very top end of what is exposed within a photo. And we just wanna, by controlling that, just give it even more contrast within the, 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 the shadows and the highlights. Um, for now, we're going to leave the blacks the same, but immediately, if I jump on this um, comparison here, we can see straight away we've got a slightly more moody shot and we've still managed to keep the, the dynamic range of light and dark within the photo at the same time. So now that we've done that, I think I'm actually just going to pull the shadow just a little bit make sure I come out of that a little bit. Let's just see how busy that is. That is looking good. Happy days. Go back to the one screen. Now let's scroll down. I always like to add a little bit of clarity to my photos as well. There we go. And the most important tab when we're looking to give our photos um, this dark moody feel is our HSL, which controls our hue, saturation, and luminance. Now we could switch this and hit the color tab on Lightroom and that would allow us to just jump onto each individual color and see those. However, I prefer it in this HSL setup so we can see all our colors at once and we can crack on with that. Now, the first thing I'm gonna look at is my greens and my yellows. That is basically what this entire photo is made up of. So we are gonna look to reduce our yellows a little bit and our greens even more look and that is starting to almost immediately give me that that style that I want to this photo um, 
So what we've done there is just play around with the saturation of just two colors, the green and the aqua. If we look at that photo and forget we're looking at a picture and just focus on the colors within it, if I jump on any of my other tabs over here and play around with the saturation of red, for instance, absolutely nothing happens. There's pretty much no red in there. There might be a little bit of magenta on the trees, but again, nothing happens if we control those tabs. Um, what I am going to want to do is focus on myself a little bit after we've done this. So we're going to do a, bit, a little bit of highlighting on me after we've, we've got the rest of this photo kind of dialed in as much as we want. And, and to be honest, it's not a long process. Sometimes just by doing these couple of things that we've done already, we've got a completely different look to our photo. So now what I'm gonna do is just gonna go down to my luminance and I wanna control the luminance on just those two colors again. So I just wanna see by bringing up and bringing down the green within my photo, what that does to the image. And, and if I prefer that particular feel on this photo, um, that's really letting the sunlight come through. However, I think just a little extra luminance on the green is great. And then we're gonna look at our yellow luminance and bringing it down kills the image massively. I'm not a fan of that. I really like that, that, that exposure on the yellows and how it's just coming through. If we look at our leaves, what that's doing. So happy days, we're gonna go there with that. I think we're gonna jump back onto the green saturation and I just, Two gray, a little bit of green. Our brains, what our brain, brains do, if you look at the green, we've taken all the green out of this photo. Our brains are still trying to see the green within it and, and it will try as hard as it can to do that. But we just wanna bring this up just a little bit. And we're back in the game, happy days. Now, as a photo with the greens and the yellows, I'm super happy with this already. This hasn't taken too long at all. There we go, side by side comparison, got rid of this very harsh yellow. I don't feel that adds to a photo at all. We're gonna go back onto our single view. We're gonna zoom up to the top. We're gonna to push our tint a little bit towards the green, not too much. And then we're gonna just check our temperature, which is at 550 and just see what that does to the image. Cause again, it's always nice to just check what we can do, but I was actually really happy with that, exactly where it was at 550 on the temperature. So let's jump in on me. We're gonna to go to our adjustment brush now. And before I go ahead and adjust anything, what I wanna see is on myself, let's just get rid of that. Um, I'm wearing a blue top. Although in this photo, that is pretty much all shade and no color. However, we might be able to control that if we jump onto the luminance of our blue. No, too dark. We're not getting anything there at all. So what we're gonna to have to do, get back on this brush. We're gonna check the size of it. We're gonna make sure, if we look down here, we've now selected the brush tool and we're choosing what we want this brush to do. I wanna lift the shadows on my top, so that's already lifted a little bit. I'm gonna slightly overexpose myself as well. And then we're gonna keep the saturation the same. I don't wanna kill that, so let's reset that. You can always reset by just double tapping on the actual word on Lightroom. That's a really good little shortcut for you to know. Now, let's jump on me and we've got our brush and we're just going to do that. And I wanna reduce the size of my brush a little bit more for my head. Happy days and my hair, happy days. That is looking good. Now I'm gonna jump on my exposure. Let's just jump that a little bit higher. Look at that. Immediately, by just doing something very subtle, we've made me pop out a little bit more on the photo. Nothing huge. And I wanna do the same thing on Nero. So I'm just gonna grab his little face in there. Now, we can see by doing that, we've also kind of lightened our blacks. So what I wanna do is jump onto our blacks just here. And I just wanna reduce that and pull it back until it matches the rest of the photo. 
happy days. I'm going to jump on my erase tool. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a little look around the top of this and I just want to pull back where we've caught around my face. You can see where we've highlighted those branches a little bit too much and I just want to pop them back where they belong. Happy days. And that, I would say, is looking pretty good so far. I think the next thing that we're going to do is this photo is the, the standard frame that comes out the camera, although we want to shoot this for Instagram. So I'm going to jump on my crop tool, go here, go down to 4x5. Four 4x5 five. Four five is the, the best size for Instagram's feed it allows you to have the most real estate on someone's screen so that's what we're going to do i'm going to drag that down because i really like this foreground and, and how that's out of focus i do like the whole image I, I like the way that it's kind of up there at the top as well but unfortunately we're just going to have to lose that this time now boom that's it done done with that uh, the next thing that we can do on Lightroom, and um, this is a super easy thing that we can do, and we can apply this look to any of our other photos now by just going over to copy. Copy everything that we've adjusted there. Scroll along. Let's see what other images I wanted to get. I wanted to get a nice close up of my phone. So there's one that I'd marked earlier. Let's select that. So there we can see what we've done after we've copied and pasted before and after. And what we've done is we've now got that same look to each of the images that we're going to have in this set on Instagram. So again, we're just going to jump down to crop. And we're going to go back to four by five. We're going to get that in there nice. Boom, that's that done. And then I think Barbara got an awesome shot of Nero just waiting for his ball. So let's just stick that in there because I think that's a nice way to tell a story as well. That one's a little bit blurred. That one's looking a lot better. Happy days. Original, four by five, bring it down. And there is Nero waiting for me to throw his ball, but I'm too busy looking at my phone. I think that's a nice little set of three images that we've created. Um, I hope you've liked that little tutorial. We're not going to do anything else. I said it was super simple. It is. Well, anything super simple when you know how to. I hope that's been of some use to you. If it has, hit like, subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you next time. Bye, guys.